Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to show you how to evaluate the integral that is in chapter 7.2, number 48 in Stewart textbook. Now to evaluate this integral, what can we think of? Because right away I see that I don't have co-square because in most of the identities, if you look at the identities here, okay, is basically co-square. Okay, you have most of the identity with cosine square. It's rare that you have only cosine itself. So what can we do about this? I would actually multiply top and bottom with the conjugate, which is cos x plus one over cos x plus one, top and bottom. So what does it give you? This gives me the integral of cos x plus one on top at the bottom is co square x minus one. Okay, because that's the difference of square. If you multiply this out, okay, this times that, this times that, and then this here and that here. Okay, so if you times that, then you get co square x minus one. Now, what is co square x minus one? Now, co square x minus one, I would be saying that. If co square of x minus one, it will give me minus sine square x. Okay, so I know that this is going to be cos of x minus one over minus sine square of x, integral of that dx. Now I want to separate this integral. So integral of cos x over minus sine square x dx minus 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 becomes a plus integral of one over sine square of x dx. Okay, so what is this? I know that cos over sine is cotangent. And I know that one over sine is basically cosecant. Okay, so this is going to be negative of integral cotangent x cosecant x. Okay, because I would say cos x over sine x, this is cotangent x. One over sine x, this is cosecant x. CSC. Okay, so let me just erase that and make it nicer. CSC x, so cosecant x. Now, so I have something like this here on the first integral, and the second integral is basically integral of cosecant square x dx. Oh, this is basically on the formula sheet now. If you go to the formula sheet, I know that cosecant cotangent will give you minus cosecant. And if it's just cosecant square, that will give you minus cotangent. Okay, so I can basically find out my answer now. This is equals to in, uh, this is equals to minus cosecant, but I have an extra minus sign in the front, right? I have the extra minus sign in the front, so it, it will be just cosecant. Okay, so cosecant x. And then the second term is integral of cosecant squared, so I have minus cotangent. So I have minus cotangent x plus c. And this is my final answer for this question. For more information about integral of trigonometric substitution, please visit my website goforaplus.com.